Hey guys, Tate here. Today's video we're going to be working on going from a tripod headstand to a side crow. Now going from the tripod to a side crow takes a lot of twisting, so make sure you have a warm up to, the, to activate the core so when you go up into a tripod you're, you're ready, make sure your hamstrings are loosened up, make sure that as you warm up you work a few twists into your warm up to help warm the spine up, to help warm the obliques and the lats up to, to take over. Um, the first step for a tripod headstand is you need to know what, what part on the head you're supposed to take. So what you want to do is take the heel of your hand to your eyebrows, tap your middle finger to the top of your head. That spot is for most of us the vicinity, the, the area we want to place on to the mat. Now if you have a kind of a, a bump there or it just doesn't feel right when you're upside down, make adjustments, find what feels good for you. Maybe it's a little bit further forward, maybe it's further back, but once you have that spot, that's the spot of the head that you're going to place down. And then what you want to do is you want to set your shoulders hip width distance. Now there's, there's a couple different ways to kind of come into the, the shoulder width distance with the hands. First one that some people talk about is kind of take your hands about hip width distance. That generally maybe, maybe your hips are wider, is wider your shoulders. That's, that's what some people teach. Um, but for most of us, shoulders, hips, they're not always equal. So the best thing to do, it's just sounds simple, look down and go, are my shoulders over my wrist? If your shoulders over your wrist, they're set. Wrap elbow creases forward. Again, notice the distance between my hands. I want equal distance between my hands and the crown of my head. So once I find my hands set under my shoulders, I'm going to keep the elbow creases wrapping forward, biceps away from each other, keep the elbows in. Bend the elbows, bring the top of the head, that spot we found earlier, to the mat. And then I'm going to tuck my toes, lift my hips, walk my feet in as far as I can. See how my elbows want to go out? I wrap my elbows in. And then I'm going to bring one knee to one tricep, one knee to the other. Draw the heels in. I'm in a tripod headstand. If this is where you want to go, stay right here. If you have a pike hand, a tripod headstand, you'll keep the legs straight, bring the legs all the way up. If you're here on your elbows or on your triceps, maybe you draw one knee in, maybe you draw the other. Keep the heels into the butt, knees stack over the hips, then engage the quads, straighten out the legs. Now to come into our tripod headstand, we want the elbows wrapping in. If the elbows are out wide or if your hands are too wide, you're not going to find the connection. You're going to bring your heels back to your butt, bring your knees into your chest. Keep the hips stacked over the shoulders. If the, if the, the hips move back any, more, any further, your butt's going to drop, it's going to get really heavy. Start your twist, belly draws in. And then as, after you've made your deep twist, slowly keeping the knees into the chest, bend, bringing the back of the left thigh to the right arm, rolling, coming down, knees into the chest, heels stay into the butt, come all the way back up, and then switch sides again. Make my twist, knees into my chest, slowly start to bend at the hips, bringing the knees down, find that connection, roll to the crown of the head, and then to take it back up, crown of the head down, knees into the chest, hips into the butt, extend up, and then lower down. Okay, so again, deep twist, deep twist, deep twist, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. Because if the elbows go out, or if you have your hands too wide, you're not gonna find that connection. And again, don't be afraid to fail, don't be afraid to fall, just know it's all part of the learning process. And if you do fall from your tripod headstand, you want a somersault, right? You want to tuck the chin and roll. You never want to kind of cartwheel out of a tripod headstand, puts a lot of pressure on the neck, can tweak your neck. So when you're up in your tripod headstand and you go to fall, just tuck the chin, roll. If you like this video, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you, namaste.